I'm back. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to post this pretty soon, but got a little endorsement, a little endorsement vibe going with some essential oils from Ministry of Oils. And uh, if you use my promo code to order your oils, you'll get like a package of three essential oils. And matter of fact, I've been working with them the last few days and they're, they're legit, you know what I'm saying? So I did want to take a little time to kind of vibe with them, see. Only one I'm still kind of like new to working with in essence is the, uh, the frankincense. Haven't used that one as much, but you know, all of them are very legit. The energy with them, you know, I'm feeling them. But uh, I'm, I'll do official posts on my Instagram, so just stay tuned to that. But again, because uh, there's a certain website link that allows for you to have this offer, and again, where you'll be paying three dollars for like three of you know three things of essential oils, which is pretty good actually. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, and you'll also be helping me as well because for every uh, person that uses my promo code, you know, I get a little residual uh, income as well, you know what I'm saying? So we can help each other, help each other. Yeti. But, yeah. Blessings to y'all. Red Hawks. Transcend Skeet 7777 Greg Brianna Then the roll loves you Then Daryl loves you Blessings y'all Matter of fact lately I've been working with the crystals to promote astral travel That is my thing lately Got my pop of light <laughs> that pop of light good for also just getting clarity in general intuitive clarity matter of fact a pop of light is a uh, very high in a lot of water you know but a pop of light great for the astral travel vibes and also uh blue calcite so i'm working with as well blue calcite and uh, the video I recently did on my YouTube, you know, about like dreams and what you could do to like, you know, amplify that energy. Because again, right now, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's real key for a lot of, you know, for, you know, for all who feel like this, who all value their soul, you know what I'm saying? For those of us who value our soul and value leaving this temporary hologram, you know what I'm saying? It is very valuable for us to know that it's more than this place and to you know, be able to tap into our dream realm, tap into the astral planes, you know, and, and tap into our astral body, you know. Uh, Dr. Strange, you know, where he, he got pushed out of his body and having that astral body effect or people who, you know, you've seen stories of people who have near-death experiences, you know, and uh, I spoke on my out-of-body experience, you know, where... Uh, I had induced the out of body experience, but again, that's another thing too, like getting over the fear, cause my, my body or my ego in essence kind of got consciously aware that I was moving out of my body. And again, that for, you know, there's a different vibes, you know, to it. In general, it was just, you know, again, like that, that fear and not being used to doing that. But, you know, my body kind of got spooked, like, oh shit, we about to die or something like that, you know? Which again, it, it's scared of, anything that has to deal with you know it transitioning hence again like and, but that's that's what creates the growth you know what i'm saying because for every moment you know oh it's 11 11 hey but, uh and the reason why we're able to grow in essence is because you know uh certain aspects of our you know lower nature or you know our egoic mind you know that and more so again that humanity aspect of us like that humanity aspect that wants to hold on to the, this hologram, you know? If you had to call the ego something, that's what it would be. It would be that energy that wants you to hold on to this temporary realm, you know, because it's temporary. 
again, if this bodysuit temporary, what serves this bodysuit? You know, uh, you know, tricking the consciousness into thinking that this realm is the end all be all, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the end game, you know. But uh all right, Red High. Oh, speaking of readings, bam. Okay, I was gonna speak on that too. Uh, where's my notes on it? Probably put them back in my pocket. But yeah, I got my uh, I'm starting my spiritual consultations. Matter of fact, cause that's why I left for a second because I had to make sure that this person uh, want to do this consultation or not. But I don't know if you can see that, but that's the numbers on the consultation. I'm in the post and this is a rough draft, but uh, 44 minutes of, uh, and again, consult, spiritual consultation, and I'm gonna run it on what it's for, you know, in that sense, you know, it's like, uh, Basically, you know, for those of us who's new in our spiritual growth, you know, and have all these questions about, like, what to do and how to handle ourselves, like, you know what I'm saying? What's the first steps of, you know, when you start to be aware that I am just a, a you know, that I am a soul on a human experience, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the first steps, you know? So, again, people who are new to the occult or esoteric aspect, what a cult mean? A cult uh, mean that which is hidden, you know what I'm saying? So, just hidden information, you know, about spirituality. And esoteric means the inner meaning. Exoteric with an X uh, means the outer meaning. So, you know, people who are new to the occult and esoteric aspect of spirituality, you know, uh, again, which is the true meaning and which is the hidden and inner meanings, you know what I'm saying? Because when we first have our strong spiritual awakenings, you know, we have a lot of questions, you know, that, that YouTube and certain books may not be able to answer, you know what I'm saying? You could get more insight, you know, from talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody, you know. And again, with anything, you know, uh, our quote-unquote time is energy, so hence why, you know, you got to make sure that you getting energetically compensated for doing consultations so you know but yeah spiritual consultations again and you could just email me or message me on instagram serious inquiries only though man you know i ain't you know i ain't trying to play with you so don't play with me <laughs> and of course i know though that starts inside myself first and foremost you know Hence why I do have serious inquiries or inquiries coming through. But, yeah, definitely getting that set up. Uh, yeah, I about to say they look backwards on the screen, but yeah. It's uh, 44 minutes for uh, $66. And let's see. And then from for 66 minutes, it would be $88. And for 77 minutes, it would be $99. And, uh, you know, again, that's just starting off because I realized how much I was doing consultations in Baton Rouge before even doing consultations in essence, you know, like considering the consultation, I would go to my crib after I would get off from work or whatever, whatever, you know, and people come through and come holler at me, you know, and just run it on certain little spiritual aspects, you know, that I may have had insight on that they were new to, you know, we sit, sit in the crib and running for hours, I would... You know, put out a little crystal grid, you know what I'm saying? Like, put out a lot of blue crystals and clear crystals to heighten that, you know, that throat chakra, third eye, crown chakra energy so we could pull down some, some high information, amplify the intuition. So as we're running it, you know what I'm saying, things coming from a divine, truthful place, you know, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what's going on right now. And again having to be confident in what we do and confident in knowing who, who we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to realize, like, that I'm extremely, you know, I'm very intuitive. And the only reason why I would feel like I'm not or anything of that nature is because I'm, I would allow for myself to get into a, a place of lacking confidence. And whenever you lack confidence, again, it's you, it's you against yourself in that sense of it, you know? Only your own mental is what stops you, you know what I'm saying? If you subconsciously program to feel like you can't be an entrepreneur, then it's going to be your own thoughts blocking you. And then your think is other people 
but no, nah, other people will be manifestation of your your doubtful thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doubting starting your business, then you'll have like somebody in your family or somebody come up to you on something like, oh yeah, it's very scary to start a business, man. You you know you might not want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, that's why I took the nine to five route or whatever, whatever. You know, and again. I'm not saying that that's a uh, bad or a good thing either, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do what you gotta do. But again, it's like that certain confidence or uh, uh, lack thereof starts within yourself. And again, you may think it's like certain other people that's add to that know it's existing inside of you. So again, like the external aspect, this external little hologram puts out or mirrors whatever's going on inside of you. If you allowing for the Agent Smith inside of you to, to you know, <laughs> to govern your conscience, then, then you're going to have, like, Agent Smith type of people pop up externally, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like clockwork. But yeah. Got the connotations. Again, this is about facing ourselves to the fullest, looking for the truth no matter how ugly. So that's another thing with consultations. You know, you, 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 you're not wanting a consultation if you're trying to lie to yourself, because I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I'm a, I keep it honest with myself on my growth, hence why I'm able to continuously grow, because I have to keep it honest with myself, you know. Like I had to keep it honest with myself with doing certain videos. Well, like, I would speak on, like, hey, you know, because I haven't manifested, you know, which is due to other things on a, on an energetic block, but for whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, like, not manifesting a home yet because it's some certain type of energetic block that I'm dealing with that I have to overcome. So I'm not going to do, you know, a lot of videos on manifesting a, a home in that sense because, again, I'm working on that myself, so I'm not necessarily the authority on that. Of course, again, I do know how to manifest things and how to line up with that energy but i gotta get over whatever inner uh subconscious blockages are uh you know preventing that within my realm but that's the whole thing yeah a lot of exposure the clones that's why star wars made all these clone movies and always remembering too that again like like i spoke on like being like a pokemon or or like uh you know being a genie like those of us with with strong ideal ability you know strong visualization and imagination abilities that are strong creators you know it's like a pimping job if somebody gets your mind then they got your body and if they get your mind you know if, Again, it's like programming your subconscious so nobody else will, you know, or program your subconscious before somebody else programs your subconscious. That's what creates your reality, you know what I'm saying? So hence, again, yeah, we got awareness that they got a uh, harp and all this chemtrail bullshit and all this, this and that. But I mean, just have the awareness that, again, you created this, this little hologram with, 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 with light and dark, hot and cold, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you got the strong connection with source, you know what I'm saying, that oneness, and then you got that disconnect, you know what I'm saying? But again, like I did a video on, the disconnect allows for the value of the connection, because you value your connection to, think about it, you value your connection to your inner God, inner source, however you want to say it, you value that connection because of the disconnected moments you've been through, you know what I'm saying? Like, those moments when I was, you know, uh, drinking a lot, popping all kind of pills and doing all this shit, those disconnected moments is what created the moments of me wanting to be so connected, you know what I'm saying? So that's the whole aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? Is being connected in, in that sense, you know what I'm saying? That's what creates the connection. You know, and being, again, being strong in our energy because it's always within this mechanism of things, you know? <laughs> It's something that, again, doesn't want to hear these things. It's such things that's trying to plug shit into your subconscious mind. Because, again, your subconscious mind creates things on a higher level. This is science. Even the person that, even the energies that are trying to trick you into thinking otherwise still keep it real about that. Because, again, have to share some truths, you know what I'm saying? 
and hence why, you know, they play the game of putting things in movies and stuff like this because it allows them to be like, hey, we did show you, you know, we did put it out there that your mind controls things. You know, we did put out the movie Inception and showed you how your dreams could be manipulated, but, you know, we didn't necessarily say, hey, got on TV and say, hey, this is real, you know, in that sense. But it's out there, you know, they got books out there, you know. You just got to have that, you know, that, that thirst for the knowledge, you know, and that sense of it. You got to want to, you got to want to know, you know, what's really, you know, what's going on. Again, and standing in your energy. The moment you, you waver in your energy, that sends a signal out for something externally to come and try to fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Like... Hence why, you know, nobody talked to me out, you know, while I'm doing this video because I'm not allowing, you know what I'm saying? I'm in alignment and not allowing for nothing to deter me, you know? And hence why, you know, again, why this seat keeps remaining empty on side of me. This place got a bunch of people coming through, but... <laughs> And actually, I never saw the movie Inception myself. I gotta watch it myself. But, you know, again, it's like plugging things into the subconscious mind, you know. That's what a true, you know, quote unquote warfare, hence why, again, Hollywood, wood from a holly tree, you know. And, and basically, a, a movie is a ritual uh, on your subconscious mind. And when we're not aware of these things, we could get lost in the sauce you know what i'm saying if we're not aware again like the movie get out you know she's stirring that teacup in order to grab the conscious mind you know so subtly things could be pushed into the subconscious you know? that's the so again when you're watching uh so speaking of an end game when you're watching marvel end game you like, oh, look at Spider-Man do this. Oh, look at so-and-so do this. But then they got subtle messages being, like, pushed, you know, on a subtle level, you know what I'm saying, that's going into your subconscious while your conscious mind is so caught up on the action of everything, you know? But, that's the whole thing. Why they talk about the 144,000, like, because it's only going to be, it's only a few beings that's really connected you know what i'm saying like you know for whatever it's worth you know the rest of this place is just uh again simulations holographic energies you know what i'm saying yeah. why you think a zombie movie is only in with a few people that's really real you know what i'm saying like that template is used for a reason you know what i'm saying like our movie or a show where it's like be certain beings that could time travel or certain beings that's the jumpers like the movie jumper you know what i'm saying there's like a certain amount of beings and while the rest of the people don't have that ability you know what i'm saying the little uh little uh anime called ajin you know what i'm saying where it was only a few ajins or jins you know what i'm saying and nobody else had that ability you know what i'm saying and, and that's where a little certain aspects you know Within uh, the Bible in certain aspects, like, you know, the 144,000, like, there's only 144,000, which whatever the number may be, that's neither here or there on that sense of it, but again, it's only a few. And misery, misery loves company. If I'm something that was just created within this hologram, you know, and again, in which a lot of, you know, a lot of these beings or whatever you want to call it, you know, they don't necessarily know, you know, in my fact, again, Pinocchio stories like the robots are, are a, or the movie AI you know matter of fact Stanley Kubrick wrote that story but uh Spielberg ended up making it a movie you know what I'm saying you look at all the stuff that Stanley Kubrick made you know eyes wide shut you know all these different things you know that's tapping into that occult esoteric information and you know trying to manipulate things but again like these certain beings could be set off the movie Kings in you know, Kingsman, they had all the cell phones. Matter of fact, even on Batman Forever, on Batman Forever, they had this uh, this aspect of the Riddler passing out these little things to put on your TV to throw, to, to have everybody, like, you put the thing on your head and on your TV and you'd be in zombie mode, you know, or a zombie movie, like all these different things, you know what I'm saying? You know, Kingsman, you know, Samuel Jackson had all these things in the phone, and it's a fact, 
that, you know, for say for instance, for the productive aspect of our soul growth, you know, I, I got videos on solfeggio tunes and binaural beats, you know, that really help, you know, change your brain waves, you know, from an alpha state, gamma state, and when your brain waves is in the alpha state, you know, your subconscious, subconscious is easily programmed. You know, and, and looking at a candle, like if you look at a flame, a flame puts your mind in an alpha state, which means it's easy to subconsciously program. But again, like all these different aspects of these movies, this is real things, you know what I'm saying? It's not to be on no, uh, again, no panic, uh, zombie apocalypse type of thing, you know, it's just, again, that acknowledgement that this thing, you know, Again, I done spoke on it. Just like within my body. Within my body, there's only certain aspects of my body that's uh, infinite. You know what I'm saying? Every single part of this body suit is not necessarily infinite. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, like, there's certain organs and certain little cells that's gonna, when this body suit transition, it's gonna transition. But then there's certain aspects connected to my soul that. Again, when this body suit transition, my soul energy is gonna move forward and continue to move forward forever and ever, you know what I'm saying? To no end. And same thing with this realm. This is a temporary hologram. It's a holographic body suit, you know what I'm saying? Word to that horn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Batman Forever, again, that's where Jim Carrey played the Riddler, you know? But all these different things, you know, or MK Ultra, like matter of fact, shout out to Undercover Brother, you know what I'm saying? Like that's real, you know. Uh, uh, what's his name? Billy D. Williams or whatever was about to do some shit to really wake people up or whatever. But then they got a hold to him and MK Ultra them, and then all of a sudden you want to create a chain of fried chicken uh, places, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's real shit, you know. Certain beings. You know, some people talk about, you know, well, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne had, a, you know, one of his albums, I think the Carter Two or something like that, where he spoke out on the bullshit in this realm. And then after that, it seemed like he never really came back to speaking about things to help people become aware anymore. It's like, you know, like something might have got to him or something, you know. And Kanye West out here constantly battling that MK Ultra vibe too, you know. Well, he'll say some real shit, you know. But then they'll probably, you know, they hit them with that phone call or whatever little energy, you know, they send out that little frequency and, you know, zap them into that little vibe. This is real shit. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to see October, you know, is a reason why, you know, Halloween is Halloween is because the veil is thin. And we're able to connect with the ancestors, the ancestors, you know, inner ancestors, because everything is within us, too. Like, again, there ain't no fucking outer space. And hence why lately they done end up trying to keep it real about the outer space thing, you know, as far as, like, them not going to the moon. If a motherfucker went to the moon in the 70s, and then technology advances so much to where it is right now, and they ain't never went back, like, get the fuck out of here. There's people like to conquer land and take over all these different things, but they ain't gonna keep going back to the moon. Probably because they never went in the first place. And to show you even more how much this shit's some bullshit, Stanley Kubrick, the movie director who created Eyes Wide Shut, he wrote the story for the movie AI. Uh, he also did 2001 Space Odyssey. I never watched that yet. And he's also the person who wrote The Shining. But again, like, he also helped, you know, from what evidence shows, help film the moon landing, you know what I'm saying? They, I had that uh, Esoteric Hollywood book, and matter of fact, you go look up on my YouTube channel, look up, if you just type in Universal Frequencies and Stanley Kubrick, my video on the moon landing will pop up, and when you go to watch it, you know, to show you how this, this motherfucker, the U.S. is just like a North Korea with luxuries, on my video, they actually got a Wikipedia vibe trying to say, oh no, the moon landing was real, and this and that, like, so here it is, basically trying to call me a lie when I got research and evidence within my video, you know what I'm saying? So, coincidence? 
and all these things. S was about to just really, really, you know, come come forward. There's a lot of truth. Again, it's coming forth within ourselves first and foremost. Again, it starts within. As we start to face a lot of truths, you know, ourselves, you know, certain aspects of ourselves that we were running away from, now having to face it, you know, and, and that's going to create that transformation. Matter of fact, because Pluto coming out of retrograde right now, I think, and again, that Pluto energy deals with deep transformation, you know what I'm saying? Like going deep within, you know, and really, really, you know, transforming, you know? So that's the whole aspect. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of a lot of exposure, a lot of things is gonna be coming up to the forefront, you know? A lot of, you know, and again, having that awareness to not be fear-mongered by certain things, because there's certain things that they are trying to plug into your subconscious. So you could be your automatic, like, like I tell people, like you automatically working for them the moment that you walking around here fear-mongering off of some shit that they talking about. Like, say for instance, like with the shooting, like with the cop shooting uh, for what people call black males or whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you keep paying attention to that shit, be like, oh yeah, man, and then you become like on some, you better watch out, bro, because the cops might shoot you, this and that. Nigga, you working for them at that point, you know what I'm saying? And who is them? It's also us, you know? Because again, we created this whole, created this reality, you know what I'm saying? We created this temporary realm. So it ain't no necessary to them. We created them, again, without uh and hence why everything goes back to balance and harmonization because if i'm god if i'm source you know i'm i'm a whole being i'm not just the light i'm not just the dark you know uh you know a quarter a quarter ain't just heads or just tails you know the whole 25 cents is heads and tails you know what i'm saying so it's about balance and harmonization that's what that's what's the agenda too is to get you to be on the extreme like be extreme meat eater all right not be extreme vegan you know what i'm saying like whatever extreme they could get you on you know that's what they're trying to promote instead of promoting balance like being a balanced being you know what i'm saying like you want to be balanced in the middle hence why everything again goes back to being in between the middle pillars you know what i'm saying think about the tarot card you know uh what it is uh the high priestess i think the Empress, I think, no, the Empress is uh, the other card. The High Priestess is the one where she got the moon sitting by her feet, you know what I'm saying? And she in between the two pillars, Jaquem and Boaz, you know, the, the light and dark, the masculine and feminine energies. It's, again, like what this is all about is us being the mediator within our realm, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whenever our high nature trying to take over, you know, we got to balance it with the lower nature. Whenever the lower nature trying to take over, balance it with the higher nature. You know, whenever the masculine aspect of us try to take over, we got to balance it with the feminine and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But it is, you know, it's the, the middle grounds, you know what I'm saying? Hence why, again, everything is always poking at you to be extreme, you know? Be extreme this, be extreme that. And hence why, again, this realm only allows things on a mass scale if it's fucking brainwashing you. So, reason why Martin Luther King was allowed to march for so long was because he was promoting lostness. It's not his fault or, you know, to be like, oh man, fuck Martin Luther King now. You know, no, you know, that was just, you know, because matter of fact, when he did kind of, he, he even had a quote. He was like, man, I done led my people into a fire or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, without realizing it, but once he started to realize it, that's when, you know, he ended up transitioning. And another thing, too, with any of that, when you look at the true truthers, again, like, you took look at a K. Reno, a Razkaz, a Kambada, uh, you know, the Group Oshun, uh, Kyle Ben, like, you know, just to name a few artists who speak it, speak real of these things, and, and notice that ain't nobody gonna fucking touch them. You know why? Because they know better, they know not to fear monger that stuff, because that's what all... That's how powerful we are, is that the only thing that these energies could do is just like stump their feet at us. Hence why, what a cop do all the time, like they ride slow by you. Like they do shit to make you scare yourself into like doing some shit 
And then now, because you vibrating on a frequency of fear, they could fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Because you done attracted the fear to you. It's a fact that we manifest, you know what I'm saying? I don't use the word manifest. We attract a certain external, we attract certain external conditions due to what's going on inside of us, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm on some, oh uh, man, you know, the Illuminati might kill me if I talk about this, or the Illuminati might kill me if I talk about that. The motherfucker, you're going to attract that and you end up transitioning, you know, because you're going to be walking around fearing that, you know, something going to get you, you know, compared to those of us who talk that shit. And we know we ain't going nowhere because that's what they want is for you to, to be scary and think. And when we talk about being gangster, like that's, you know, again, no knock to those of us out there who think we're being gangster by shooting each other, you know, by robbing your, your first cousin for an ounce of weed, you know what I'm saying, and calling that gangster, or uh, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, to each his own, but like, again, like, you know, we want to talk real gangsterism, and really, you know what I'm saying, like, mastering our inner universe, you know what I'm saying, doing our, our, our spiritual work, as a brethren come into here called Gangster Comrades, but again, mastering your inner universe, you know, and that, that trickles outwards, you know what I'm saying, because again, a lot of us is not doing our spiritual work or connecting with our soul because we may be fearful of what may happen, you know, or, you know, like, it's certain aspects that we may be scared of, you know, and again, that, that, that happens, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not, we're not taught to, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're not taught these things, so of course you, you may be, uh, fearful of facing certain truths, hence why when I'm talking like this, you know, it's a, a certain truth frequency that, again, that will snap certain beings from out of being lost. Hence why, again, you know, certain energies uh, get up and move around if I'm constantly speaking on these things because they can't handle that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, and two is the mechanism of this, this hologram. Like, it's like, hence why I guess I like computer science because this shit is just an algorithm, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and if I'm speaking on a certain vibration, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, it may send out a spark in something else consciousness to be aware of too. You know what I'm saying? And, and that trickles outward even more. So, again, and just again, holding that space of being balanced. You know, mastering your own inner universe, mastering your own realm. You know, like everything we should be learning about should be for self mastery. Like, how could I use this information to? you know, reprogram my subconscious, you know what I'm saying? How could I use this information to find out more about my soul and find out more about what my purpose is in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying? And as you start to do that, you become that beacon of, uh, I don't even use the word light, you know, because, you know, make it seem like it's just about light and not about the dark, you know, it's the balance of the light and the dark. But being a beacon, you know, just being, being that example in that sense, you know what I'm saying? By doing your inner work, you know what I'm saying? So like. Point blank period, you know. And that's what is it. That's what it is. Matter of fact, I got a video of you typing uh, universal frequencies and gangsters. You know, a real gangsters. I got a video with a little message to, you know, because again, to each his own. You know, a lot of us been tricked into, you know, thinking that, you know, again, robbing our cousin for an ounce of weed is gangster or you know what I'm saying or you know instead of uh you know going and I'm not telling nobody to go uh you know shoot no judges or you know no politicians or none of that but it's like no call yourself gangster why are you going fucking rob some somebody you know in your hood or whatever whatever like and then calling yourself gangster when there's beings in this realm or certain energies that fucking over, you know, your neighborhood and all this on a mass scale that you won't even, that you're scared to fuck with. Point blank fear, you're scared of them. And, and, and as I say that, I'm a, you know, I fall back on the name calling because that won't help nobody, you know, it won't help them with name calling and stuff like that, you know. But at the same time, it's not meant for me to babyfy the energy either. Like, that's what's real, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, what's really gangster? You know? Who's really gangster? You know? Like, 
like you know, guys. And again, speaking of facing truth, you know, that's a certain truth that some people might not be ready to face, you know what I'm saying? And again, we all like, as I'm talking all this shit, like, bro, I, I had to face my inner truth, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm, oh, like I'm scot free, like I'm above everybody and anything. Nope. Like, bro, I've been having to face certain truths, like little ugly truths, like, damn, man. I realized that maybe this wasn't for me, y'all. This situation ain't, like, I was probably in my ego of mind thinking that this was going to pop off. You no, know, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, having to face, you know, again. Because if you can't face certain truths and face certain, you know, aspects of yourself, then you're never going to grow. Just like, again, like, I use the analogy, if I got a broke leg, you know, and I'm, like, on some shit, like, oh, man, I don't want to focus on that broke leg. You know, that's negative. Or, you know, oh, I don't want to focus on that broke leg. Then I'm going to never be able to fix that broke leg if I'm running away from it or if I'm scared to look at it. You know, in order to fix that broke leg, I got to acknowledge that my leg is broke, acknowledge the pain, and then go from there on working how to heal that broke leg. You know what I'm saying? You know? And everything goes back to balance. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain certain level of awareness of knowing what's going on in this external realm and then a certain balance of you know uh not always being focused on it because we do want to have awareness that you know there are you know clones and artificial intelligence and certain you know beings that are just a part of this hologram that walks around you know again we created this realm on some you know need things to fill in the space imagine if it was just you know again like I, I always use that number, 144,000 of us on this plane of existence, you know, we wouldn't have no contrast, you know, we wouldn't have, because again, we created the contrast, so there's no good or bad, right or wrong with any of it, you know, as I talk shit about, you know, uh, oppressing energy or, or parasite or none of, you know, any of these things, it's not looking at it as bad, that energy serves its purpose, again, uh, shit on the sidewalk that stink like a motherfucker, it's not bad, because that, that stink ass shit allows for roses to smell so good, you know what I'm saying? It allows for my essential oils to smell good to me because that shit stink. Because if everything was just one and monotone in that sense of it, we wouldn't have experience. Everybody would be walking around with the same shirt on, looking the same. It wouldn't even be no traction because we'd all be the same. It wouldn't be nothing to learn and do because we all have knowledge of everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it wouldn't be no hot or cold, uh, white or black, you know what I'm saying, light or dark. You know, everything would just be a monotone experience, which wouldn't necessarily be experience. It would just be that one glob of oneness without experiencing stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the reason why I was able to become an entrepreneur is because I, I went through experience of not liking the nine to five, you know what I'm saying, in that sense. Like... So you gotta go through those through those contrasts, you know. And again, I'm always making sure that I'm not trying to clown or, you know, because again, I, I had a I had a job working a uh, quote unquote nine to five, and it wasn't again. There's no good or bad, right or wrong with any of that. As long as you knowing yourself and knowing that again, like you're a soul, or you extension of the universe, God, however you want to call it, God, source, the universe on human experience, you know, as long as you understand that and understand that on a subconscious level, you know what I'm saying, you good. You know? Like, that's the whole aspect of it. Yeah, what's up, what's up everybody? You know, the paradox, it's the balance, the balance of everything. It's not just about the crown chakra, you also have a root chakra, you know what I'm saying? It's not just about your masculine energy, it's about your feminine energy as well. Because again, as the feminine energy raising up right now, that's just so it could balance things out, it's not trying to take over, you know? And then that would create more imbalance, you know? Hey, again, everything is just trying to, like, again, the contrast that we created within this realm, you know, 
we we created Donald Trump, we created George Bush, we created all these little characters to serve that purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if it wasn't a, a character like George Bush not giving a fuck during Katrina, then you would then you wouldn't realize to you know do your inner work and become somebody that you could take care of your yourself and therefore be that reflection for your neighborhood you know what i'm saying like of having things taken care of in case something happened or whatever whatever you know what i'm saying like it's like again that contrast exists for a reason you know and we're going back into that balance, you know, realizing that it's all about the balance. Because again, as, as God, you know, God not just the higher aspect of what you're taught in religion, hence why religion teach, oh, there's God and then there's this other being called the devil. Like, nah, that's, I mean, it's all God, is all source, you know. And as above, so below, as within, so without. We, we have that representation in, inside of us. And hence why the heart chakra, again, is about balance and discernment, you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why, you know, the star of David, you know, like the star of David ain't about being no uh, Ashkenazi Jew or no Hebrew or none of that shit. It's about the embodiment of the understanding of this sacred geometry and what it stands for, you know what I'm saying? But that's another, you know, again, to just have people lost in the sauce of all kind of little information to have you going back and forth on who's right and who's wrong, you know? Like, this shit all a, a hologram, this shit all a game. Because, you know? again, once you start to find out that there's more and that you've been being lied to, Maybe you would just say fuck a job, like, and stop working for Walmart and all these different companies who, again, you know, need workers to keep their little thing going. No good or bad, no right or wrong if you do work for Walmart or work for a certain corporation or whatever. But just, you know, you start to see, like, all right, because, yeah, if everybody starts to realize that it was more to this realm, you know what I'm saying, then they wouldn't just settle, you know what I'm saying? Like, they would continuously look for that truth. You know, and be like, all right, I ain't even got time to be fucking with this job, you know, or, you know, and finding ways to, again, you know, uh, create a barter system where we trade, you know, like, well, shit, I'll, I'll help teach, you know, I'll teach the kids uh, certain aspects of, you know, let's say your spiritual nature, and then I'll, you know, I'll teach kids, and then you'll give me some uh, fruits and vegetables whenever the harvest comes through. You know, or, you know, the person who's great at building things, you know, they could build something for me and I'll provide a service for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and again, it's not on some looking to to save the world in that sense of it. You know, it just starts with saving our inner universe first and foremost, you know, saving our inner realm. You know? so as we line up with that, again... What we see with our eyes is a projection. If inside of me, I feel like, you know, oh, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a never leave the hood, or you know, I can only be in my hood, or whatever the case may be. Then where you're gonna be at is in your hood. Why? Because that's what's going on inside of you. So externally, what you, what all you're gonna see is your hood compared to somebody who might wake up to the aspect of traveling more you know and then as they have that that inner vibration of realizing hey i want to travel things of this nature then externally they'll be traveling and see more of that you know what i'm saying because that they change something inside of them they change a certain conscious outlook you know what i'm saying and they start to change you know what they were seeing outside because they changed what they you know the way they was looking at things inside you know what i'm saying Again, the prices for my uh, consultations, spiritual consultations. So, if you, if you do feel like, you know, 
that you want to have a one-to-one -one with me, you know what I'm saying? I do have uh, the consultation set up, you know, so you could just holler at me about, you know, the uh, pricing for that, you know. Because, again, it's an investment with anything, you know. If I care about my growth, then I'm investing something that helps, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to buy a book that's $50, you know, uh, if it's, you know, going to help me grow instead of looking for just the cheap books. Because you get what you're looking for, you get what you, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking for just the cheap shit, then you get just the cheap shit, you know what I'm saying? If, if I'm looking just to eat, you know, Whopper Juniors and I pay more money for healthy foods, then I'm going to get a Whopper Junior consciousness, you know what I'm saying? Again, that's no knock to nobody who is in that round. That's a part of their experience and what they're choosing to experience right now, you know? Again, because one of the uh, very important things, too, you know, as we speak on this shit, you know, it's like, you know, it's not speaking from a place of, like, being better than nobody or none of this, but, it, again, it is about keeping it real, though, and certain aspects and not babyfying information because somebody's ego might be a butthurt about certain information. Because if you feel butthurt about anything, that means you're taking it personal, that means you're identifying with something. So if I say fuck football, you know, and you feel some kind of way that because you identify strongly with football, you know, and instead of being a, a soul on the human experience, you identify with being a football player or being a football fan more than being a, a soul or a guide on a human experience. So hence why you feel butthurt if some like, and I spoke on that, a hit dog gonna holler, you know, that's more in most cases, that's the ego taking something personally because it identifies with that energy. You know, like I always use the example, like if somebody be like, oh, man, uh, this guy always talks long on his videos or this and that, you know what I'm saying? He always like uh, talking long or this and that. I would have to identify, you know, with that, that energy strongly and be like, oh, well, you know, and take it personally on somebody talking about me. And I feel butthurt and then want to comment back or, you know, fuss about it or whatever the case may be, you know, but. Believe this, you know, being able to be balanced, not trying to be extreme in any energy, you know, you're not trying to be extremely sexual, you're not trying to be extremely not sexual. You want to balance yourself in the middle, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be extremely in your higher chakras, you don't want to be extremely in your lower chakras, you want to balance it in the middle, hence why the heart chakra symbol, you know, in Sanskrit is a star of David. And I'm just using that name because a lot of people know, you know, but again, it's the the upper triangle is air and fire, you know, the masculine energies. The lower triangle is earth and water, the feminine energies. And and, and, and hence also represents our Merca, but like somebody put in the thing. But you know, like that that's a balance of our energies, you know, that's not, oh, I'm a Hebrew. You know, and again, to each his own, because if somebody's still stuck in that, that programming, because that's what it is, like, whatever, hence why we use the word program when we talk about subconscious, it's like, you know, your, your subconscious being programmed, or if you're under a certain programming in this lifetime, you know, you you down here to realize that, oh shit, this is a program, so you can pull yourself out of it. If you don't realize it, hey, you know, it is what it is, it's cool. You'll catch your next rip. You know, when, you, when you're walking into the light thinking you about to go to, quote unquote, heaven, because Christianity been, you know, manipulated to have you thinking, this situation, but you going into that light thinking you're going to heaven when you're really uh, a baby, you know, went back into another baby bodysuit, quote unquote, and you're being reborn back into this realm again in those lights of the hospital <laughs> and those relatives you heard talking to you like, come to the light, it was really your new relatives, your new, uh, quote unquote, mom and dad in this hologram, you know, that you're coming back to. And as I'm saying, in it, uh, all, any and all these things, it's not to convince you of it. Believe what you want. It's a free will universe. You could feel like, oh, this motherfucker is crazy like a motherfucker, and all this shit he's saying is stupid and crazy. And, you know, you have that choice. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. Because that's, 
that's not what it's about either. Like, I'm not here to try to convince you. All I got to do is, you know, work on myself and, you know, and I say fake convince, you know, but work to make sure that I have these realizations for myself. And it's a byproduct that, you know, since I do these things for myself, this is what I speak on, you know what I'm saying? So, again, you could either, you know, choose to be open to it or you could, you know, be like, fuck, what are you talking about? You know, that's a, it's a free will universe. You have the choice of slavery or freedom, you know? It's your choice, and that's how beautiful this realm is. Like, you could choose, you know, to uh, to not want to be aware of these things. You know, and it's beautiful that you, again, you're not forced to be aware. You could actually choose to be unaware. You know, how beautiful is that? That you have, you know, is up to you. You know? Corn Wallace was, was up, brother, brother. Blessing. Oh, I'm back at the old thing. I thought this was new. <laughs> but, yeah. Balance. Because being in the moment is balance as well. Because when you're in the moment, you're not too far in the past. You're not too far in the future. You're right now. And you could simultaneously, again, you could tap into the past with relevance to the moment when it's relevant for whatever serves your highest purpose in your moment so you know you might have to go back and look at some things from the past like you're doing subconscious work or you're doing root shock work or shock work in general you're going back to see like all right what what did i see growing up that got me uh going through this lesson loop right now you know so you could tap into your past right now and also tap into your future because again in order for me to create a youtube channel and do all these things i tapped into the future seeing like oh shit you know, this energy of people awakening is really something real and it's going to be happening. You know what I'm saying? And since I like talking so much and I like articulate myself well, you know, I would love to start a YouTube channel right now in this moment. You know, so now, you know, balance, you know, being childlike, not letting your heart weigh heavier than a feather, realizing that this is a hologram. You know, my grandmother that transitioned, my pop that transitioned, they just transitioned out of bodysuit. And there ain't no, you know, like, oh, I'm going to never see him again. Like, because, again, when, hence why somebody always trying to trick you into being heavy hearted about these things. Like, oh, think about the children and this and that. That doesn't mean that we, like, fuck children when you get to that realization. No. Of course you're still going to. And, again, we don't own our kids. It's more so like you're like a chaperone for a new soul. That's what being parents really is. It's like being a big brother or big sister to a new soul that then came, that then chose to come through you, uh, more so the, the, the mother, but chose to come through the mother's portal, you know, to have this experience, you know what I'm saying? And, and you are that chaperone to say, all right, look, this is the shit that had me fucked up subconscious in this round, you know, so we don't want to pay attention to this. You want to do this. You want to know about this. You know, practice this certain meditation and cert practice this certain awareness, you know what I'm saying? And, and allow for them too, though, to find their own ways to let them choose what they want to be. You know what I'm saying? And not tell them, hey, you better go play baseball because I didn't, I didn't become the major league baseball player that I tried to be. So you got, you got to try to relive my dreams, you know, and be a, uh, go to the NBA because I uh, bust my knee in college. So. I want you to try to revamp my old shit. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Because again, that I have that soul back, back here, you know, trying to, again, live out their own soul, soul purpose because in this lifetime, they allow for their quote unquote parents to, to you know, guide them into doing what, what their parents wanted, and not really what their soul purpose was truly about. You know what I'm saying? Like. But again, balance, middle, childlike, being in the moment, you know, again, not being all in our thoughts, all in our minds, stepping, to, uh, stepping out of fear, because fear is false evidence, pure and real. In most cases, anything you fear is not happening in the moment. Think about all your fears that you ever had. In most cases, in almost all cases, a projection within your thoughts, you know, because in your direct moment, and you could be like, oh, in the next minute, you're about to step into something. But you haven't stepped into it yet. So at the end of the day, you projecting some shit before it happens. This dog might bite me. It hadn't bit you yet. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, right now, is that dog biting you? Nope. You no know, false evidence appearing real. F-E-A-R-A. False. F 
E, evidence, A, appearing, R, real. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Shit, that's a projection of your mind, you know what I'm saying? And then past trauma, you know, like if you got into a wreck or something like that, and then again, you're creating this situation in your mind, like what if I get T-boned at this stoplight, you know, when I cross it or whatever, whatever, you know, that, that don't exist. Like, and it, but you'll create it if you keep fear mongering yourself about it, then you're gonna create another wreck for you to, you know, be worried about or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? So again, stand out that fearful state. But that, again, that's what the subconscious programming come in to make you fearful of certain things so you could just work on yourself. Hence with slavery, like they, they, they programmed the slaves to be so scared that they kept themselves on that plantation. Even though they outnumbered the overseers and the slave masters by, I don't know how many numbers, you know what I'm saying? But because they had a certain fear, false evidence appearing real, you know, it was what it was. Because you could even say, like, oh, well, no, you know, these people had guns and was going to shoot them. Again, you, uh, you're a soul or a god on a human experience. This shit is temporary. You're not so, what's dying? Like, you're not really dying. Hence why, again, like uh, certain little Native American sayings, Native but indigenous beings of this the area, uh, would say, like, any time is a good time to, quote, unquote, die or something like that. But meaning, like, you know, like, bro, I'm going to stand up for whatever because, shit, I'm not really even dying. Like, so fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And, and again... It's false evidence appearing real. Hence why, again, like, not fucking with why I always check that energy if somebody go to be and like, oh man, you better worry about the cops because of this and that, or you better worry about that, man. Fuck that shit, man. Keep that, like, like a big, uh, like, I think his name Biggs or whatever from, uh, from, uh, Belly, you know? Like, keep that bumble clot pussy business away from me, you know? I see it. You know, keep that pussy clot shit to yourself. You know? And, and, and look, I'm saying that I'm not trying to down you. Any of that. This is the reality of it, though. You know? Again, that Agent Smith. Agent Smith jumping through whatever energies are, uh, you know, open to that. You know what I'm saying? And if it moves through fear, you know, and then you, again, like, Fear mongering yourself, then you can allow for that, you know, you could be an energy for that agent to jump through, you know. Like, oh, I fear that if I stop taking my prescription pills, my prescription poison, I might die, you know what I'm saying? You know, and then when you talk to somebody, you telling them, like, oh, yeah, you know, you better take, make sure you take your poisons because, you know, Cause yeah, cause you know, you might die or this and that. Like, no, that's your fear. That's your, you know, that's the Agent Smith that exists inside of you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't agree to those terms and conditions. I don't agree to that word magic. You know, to that spell. When we talk about spelling words, you know, words are spells, casting a spell. And hence why for movies, they call the actors a cast. Like who's the cast of the movie? Cause a movie is a big, Spell. And again, Hollywood, we're from a high tree, doing magic on the subconscious mind. And hence why this whole place is full of civil magic. You know, they got this little uh, show with Kirsten Dunst on becoming a god. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the subtle magic? You know, again, it's not about no white or black shit or none of that shit. Because that's all, again, just bullshit of this hologram. You know what I'm saying? It's just that understanding that, again, that oppressing energy just want to have every image for a melanated person in connection with God or an indigenous person, you know what I'm saying? Because want to subtly program that into your subconscious. But again, it's not to be on some, oh man, you know, like it's just have that awareness, you know what I'm saying? Because again, you created this situation, you know, so to sit down and complain about it all the time or be scared or, you know, whatever like that. Insanity. Twenty five seconds left. Now the vibe breaks. You know what I'm saying? No fear. Balance, harmonization, and wholeness 
within, you know what I'm saying? No judgment. Don't judge anybody, you know what I'm saying? You cannot agree with somebody's actions, but you don't have to judge them. 